Hello guys, in this video we will discuss the projectile motion examples with some illustration. Now the question said that the roof tosses a small tool to the ground. What minimum magnitude v not of the horizontal velocity is required to just miss the roof corner B and then also determine the distance B. So to calculate such types of questions now let's see how the projectile motions will be applied here so the first thing is we'll take out some given parameters here if we just construct the given velocity it is horizontally launched with an initial velocity v naught since it is a projectile motion, once we launch that one, we'll have such types of layout. And then let's see, this is a positive y axis, and then this one is a positive x axis here. Since the ball is dropped and then ground, we'll have a negative gravity. Now let's do this one again. This is the initial point A and this point is point B and then the final point is here point C. So the given parameter let's write since it is a horizontal motion theta is zero and then x from a out to b is given as 2.4 meter and then y from a out to b is given as minus 2.1 meter that means in in the negative y axis and then y from a out to c is just 1.2 plus 0.9 plus 3 so it will be minus 5.1 meter that means from this one to this one it will be 5.1 meter and the other one we know that x from a up to c is equals to 2.4 plus d 2.4 plus d so those are the given parameters and the required one is the first required is just the horizontal velocity v naught and then the second one is distance d that means from here this point to this one now let's calculate this example by applying a projectile motion principle now for the first thing for the pass of ball from a to b now let's have such types of paths so the ball travels through this pass this one is v naught and this distance is 2.1 and the horizontal distance is 2.4 so since there is no any wind effect we'll have a constant acceleration so acceleration is constant since the acceleration is constant we can apply the formula related to a constant accelerations so let's try to identify the first one is just v naught in the x direction is equals to v naught times cos theta which is equals to v naught times cos zero degree so it will be v naught as this 
and then v naught in the y direction is v naught sine theta which means v naught sine zero degree which is equal to zero so there is no initial velocity component in the y direction but we have an initial velocity component in the horizontal direction so it's v naught now let's calculate the time taken from a up to b with respect to x and y components if you remember from a constant acceleration principle we have a formula distance is equals to initial distance plus v naught t plus half a t square this is one formula if we apply this one on the vertical direction it will give us s will become y so final y will be equals to initial y plus initial velocity in the y component times t plus now half a t square in this case acceleration is gravity and it will be negative because it's in the downward direction so minus half g t squared we have no any initial position we have no any initial velocity in the y direction so finally it will be just y can be equals to minus half g t squared if we rearrange this equation we will get t squared is equals to minus 2y over g so finally t can be under radical minus 2y times over gravity now let's substitute the numerical values so time this time is just a time from a up to b okay is equals to under radical minus 2 times y value is negative 2.1 because it's below point a or it's in the negative y direction so times minus 2.1 over gravity is 9.81 so if we calculate this we can get a time as 0 0.654 second this one is time from a up to b and the second one is just once we have the time the portion we could use the formula in the x direction for the position equation just like this one so instead of s let's say x is equals to x naught plus v naught x times t plus half a x times t square now we have no any initial position and then at this time we have no any horizontal acceleration in the projectile motion acceleration is zero because the velocity in the x direction is constant and then v naught x is v naught so finally we'll have this relationship x can be equals to v naught times t if we rearrange this equation finally we'll have v naught will be is equals to x over t so v naught is equals to x over t this means t is t from a up to b so x is also x from a up to b normally so in this case x is 2.4 so 2.4 over the time is 0 0.654 it will be 3.67 3.67 meter per second now this is the answer to get the corresponding values of the x-axis now let's just apply the same procedure and the same principle from the position a to position c that means 
our initial position will be position A and then our final position will be position C will take this one so we know the x distance we know the y distance relationship so let's do this one y from a up to c is equals to if we apply the same equation with this one so we'll have y is equals to minus half gt square means y is equals to y naught plus v naught y times t minus half gt squared so this part and this part will become zero since we have no any equation now time from a up to c because this is time from a up to c normally can be equals to minus of two times y from a up to c over gravity and radical this is equals to on the radical minus 2 times y from a up to c is just the 2 dimension we know that this is 5.1 minus 5.1 times minus 5.1 over 9.81 now this negative will cancel out this one and the final it will be positive and then if you just calculate these values so time from a up to c can be 1.02 second you know two seconds now once you have this value the same formula can be applied to get the horizontal components of d that means this is d once we have calculated x from a up to c we can just subtract 2.4 from that part this one is 2.4 and then finally we'll have this one but this distance from this point to this point is x from a up to c x can be calculated as x is equals to x naught plus v naught x t plus half a x t squared as the previous one this one is zero this one is zero and then x could be v naught x is this amount this is three point six seven and then time is known which is 1.02 x can be 3.74 3.74 meter now d can be equals to x minus 2.4 which is equals to 3.74 minus 2.4 and then finally D is 1.34 meter 1.34 meter this is our final answer thank you guys for watching us please subscribe our youtube channel we will present you different interesting videos